Hey everybody, thank you so much for coming back and watching. Today I'm going to be doing a review for you guys and I have these new L'Oreal Infallible lip paints. I have three of the shades out of 14. I have Nude Star, Sultry Sangria, and Topless. So this new launch is currently available at Ulta stores or Ulta.com and they retail for $9.99 a piece but I actually got mine on the buy one get one 50% off sale that Ulta has usually and right now their L'Oreal products are buy one get one 50% off so I took advantage of that. So I went on to L'Oreal's website and I was reading through all of the claims that they had for these uh, lip products and it says for these products that they're supposed to be long lasting, shiny, vibrant color in one stroke high impact color with a special designed applicator. It's supposed to be smudge proof, waterproof, and um, comfortable wear. So a few notes that I have for these products. Um, I initially, I bought them yesterday and right when I bought them, I was really, really excited. So I decided to wear one of the shades throughout the day and I wore this one. This is the color 312 Nude Star. This is the most wearable one that I bought, I think. I applied it around 4.30 p.m., roughly 4.30 p.m. And around uh, 7.30 or so, I noticed that the color had started to fade. It wasn't as shiny anymore. And the color was still there, but it was fading. And it was evenly fading. And luckily for me, this color it was pretty close to my lip color. It's just a little more bright pink. So it wasn't too noticeable. I just reapplied around the three hour mark and it applied really nicely and evenly right on top of itself. And then I went about my day and around, I want to say, uh, midnight I finally got home and I looked at it and again the color is pretty much gone at that point I had a little bit of shine on my lips but nothing too high impact I did eat and drink throughout that time period and I did notice after eating and drinking that the color did fade quite a bit. I wouldn't say that it's really smudge proof or waterproof. I don't really know why it says that it's smudge proof because obviously like if you can see it here right now it's more like a gloss and it doesn't ever dry down matte. When I think of a lipstick or lip color being smudge proof, I think of it as like completely matte. So this wears more like a gloss. So the claim about them being um, high impact in one stroke, I do think that is true. I really only need to apply one coat of the lip color and I feel like it completely covers my lips really well. I have like a small freckle on my bottom lip and whenever I apply this lip color, it covers it in one coat. Something I did notice is that when you are applying the lip color, if you kind of press your lips together like this, if you do that motion while you're still applying it, um, it does transfer a lot. So I usually apply on my bottom lip first and I kind of have the tendency to press my lips together after that um, and you lose basically all the pigment on your bottom lip. So what I do with this lip color is I apply it to my top and my bottom lips completely, just do one whole coat of it and then if I want I'll press my lips together and reapply wherever I lose intensity of the lip color. So I will say that these have kind of a weird scent to them. I'm not quite sure what it smells like. It definitely smells like an artificial scent. It's very sweet and almost fruity. It just has that kind of weird scent to it, but it doesn't linger. Uh, right now I don't really smell it at all. It's just whenever you open up the tube and like take a little whiff of it. I'm not super sensitive to scents, so um, yeah, it doesn't really bother me too much. Now, like I said, they do come in 14 shades. Um, I feel like I bought some of the most wearable ones other than just like the bright red one. They have really crazy colors, which is really cool, but at the same time, not super practical. Uh, they have like a bright 
like neon blue they have a dark blue they have like a violet color which was really cool I was debating on if I should pick that one up but I was just trying to be a little realistic about it, if I would really wear it or like it on my lips personally me I don't think that I could pull those colors off like ever um, but I definitely think it's really cool that they came out with those colors just because it's a cheaper alternative to try those colors out rather than having to buy like an Urban Decay dark blue lip color or you know like a Smashbox bright purple lip color because those can be twice the price of these uh, L'Oreal colors so yeah I mean I think it's cool if you want to try out a new look or if you know that you're only going to be wearing them like once in a blue moon then I would definitely pick it up and try it out it's worth a shot so on the website they talk a little bit about the applicator and it is kind of a weird applicator um, when you open it up it has like a doe foot applicator but it's a little more curved than other doe foot applicators. Instead of just a nice diagonal slant, it kind of has like a, a U curve. It creates like a more pointed tip. And the reason they said that they did this was because the pointed tip is supposed to help you outline your lips first and then fill it in completely. I tried using that method. Um, I outlined my lips with the point and then I filled in my lips. But personally, I found it easier to just completely fill in my lips with the color and then taking the point and kind of fixing up the edges and making everything look even. And I thought that was really cool. I like the applicator personally. I think it's really cool and I think it's very innovative as well. The shade that I had the most trouble with applying was this one. It's the color 326 Sultry Sangria. And this is the deepest shade that I did pick up. And I felt like putting it on initially was kind of difficult just because it was a little patchy but once you kind of work it into your lips and you get a good even coat it looks really nice I wish that this would have gone on more even but I think layered over a lip liner it would go on way more smoothly and just better. I am pretty happy with all three shades that I did get. I think my two favorites though are Nude Star and Topless. I can see myself wearing Nude Star on like an everyday basis. I definitely think that this was a good purchase. I really like the shades that I picked up. I also think that the range itself is really cool. I really do enjoy that they're high impact. Uh, the scent does not linger very much. You do have to reapply throughout the day, uh, which honestly isn't an issue. It's way easier to apply something that's glossy rather than something that's matte over a matte lip color. So I think that it's okay. I don't really have an issue with it at all. So that is pretty much all I have to say about this product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it for me. And if you decide to pick up uh, these colors or something from this line, then let me know what you think as well. I hope you guys enjoy the swatches at the end. Please make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Thank you.